So I'm here in Sweden and uh, I'm at the Royal Park Hotel in Stockholm and it's beautiful. I went out on a speedboat on the first day. I've been for lovely walks. I'm here with my friend Joel and we are checking out the entire TV studio and everything that they've got here to see if it's something that we we can work with. Um, I feel a little bit like life has given me loads of options and I'm like, oh, I'm overwhelmed. It's like, can you really have all this? Ooh, I don't know what I want. But I'm glad I'm not Ibiza anymore. I loved it. I was really enjoying my time there. Um, but I'm really good at leaving on a high. I'm really good for ending things when they should end rather than holding on to something that isn't quite what I want it to be. So yeah, leaving Ibiza, I've you know had lots of stuff done there, worked on lots of stuff health-wise really as well. Like I really know where I need to be health-wise now because I've been in Ibiza and I've had a few sessions on different things. So sound travels is my plan going out and traveling and relating it all to sound and getting a video guy to come with me and to kind of go and explore that, which I now have found one called Paris and I wouldn't have found him if I wasn't in Ibiza. Um, he's come through another friend, Josh, and it just connected all at the right time. So I've picked up all the things that I need. So we are still flowing and now I come to Sweden and there's an entire kind of eight person studio here that can work for TV production, like live TV production and all sorts of stuff. So. I'm getting all these offers and all these different things coming to me and now I've got to piece them all together and make sure that I'm doing things for the right reason. I feel slightly overwhelmed also on the amount of work I've got to do because <laughs> I'm on all these courses and I, I've got this guilt that I'm not doing when I know I should be and could be so I'm going home to the UK on Monday and I'm going to go and quarantine for 10 days, chill out with my family, get on this diet that I need to get on, um, this blood diet that I need to be on uh, to improve my health and I'm going to work through all the course stuff that I've got and just get my head down and focus so I can clear a chunk of what needs to go out of the way because um, I've definitely taken on too much and feel overwhelmed um, which is all self-created and I'll learn for next time um, but yeah I've got to put a kind of pin in a few things that are just going to take up too much time and that I don't have the right enthusiasm for yet and this is what it is that you know I've been talking to lots of friends about boundaries and setting boundaries for what we do and we don't want in life is really key because we need to be honest we need to be able to flow we need to not have guilt or shame or you know frustrations of things that we said we'd do but we don't actually want to do or things that we don't feel we have time for now it's that honesty in that flow and it's so difficult to have those awkward conversations and be honest with people about what you want and what you don't want. And, you know, even when you're all guns blazing or you just haven't met it with the right, you know, time that you said you would. And I feel disappointed that I've let myself down, which is just a natural feeling. And I've got to change all of that. So now I'm like, oh God. Yeah, so sound travels is the goal. And I have decided to flow with that and I've been getting other things in the way of it. So you know when you choose you want to do something and then you self-sabotage. And that's what I've been doing with all these other things is self, although it's all relative, I've been self-sabotaging in many ways. I spent far too much money <laughs> as well in Ibiza for, for what I actually needed. Not no, that's a lie. I haven't spent far too much money. I spent more than I've ever spent in Ibiza. Um, and I didn't have any kind of, I can't afford this, don't want to do this. I just flowed when I was there and doing that was good for me in many ways but then there's this part, kind of thing where I feel because I'm not where I want to be there's this slight guilt coming up which is stupid um, but things are folding um, in the right out in the right way and I've just got to go with the flow so I've loved meeting all the people I've met and kind of connecting with people and but I can't wait to ramp up the quality of video production with Paris and get stuff going and be out there doing different things because it's just yeah I live to travel at the moment and I'm not you know I'm not doing it in the way that I want I'm doing it but not not with the right video quality and stuff and and kind of going to see all the right places so that's what I'm going to change and crank it up a gear so thank you for watching and this is just me doing a little update and letting everybody know uh, what I'm up to if they care you might not care, I don't know. But um, I do have lots of people asking me because I don't have social media. And like, what are you doing? Where are you? So I'm just doing these videos as I go along to answer those questions. But it's been nice. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be like back in the UK. Um, but I'm going to give it a go and uh, 
let's see what's happening over there and then decide on my next location whether it's going to be Corfu or whether it's going to be Crete or whether Egypt not sure whether I'm back out here to Sweden or into Ibiza I'm just going to see the natural flow of things and see which which offer feels right for the right reasons so ciao for now have an amazing day and if you like this subscribe you can hit the like button and you can leave a comment if you want to and if you've got any suggestions of where I could go to next maybe you want to put something in the frame that I've not even thought of so have a good day and I'll speak to you on the next one bye